Hey guys, uh, Thomas here, another another <laughs> Life with Barry story. <laughs> and um, this one uh, comes from, uh, I would say, maybe March of uh, two, oh, excuse me, two, uh, 1981. I was in the 11th grade, I believe, yeah, yeah. So, the story goes like this. Um, uh, Barry and I, we, you know, we've been friends for a long time, you know, and and uh, he said, hey, uh, I, there's this girl that I want to go out with, uh, but I need a double date because he has a friend, you know, and maybe you might need to write the friend. I was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm the wingman, okay. So, as the wingman, you know what a wingman is. You, you know, you 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 you're from Top Gun. You know, I'm you I'm, I'm on your wing. I'm protecting you to make sure you 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 you're you're good and everything is cool. So I was his wingman. So so uh so he said, well, I, there's this girl that you know that I want to get together with. You know, and then so I, you know I want you to come with me. I said, come with me, but I don't you know. I don't know any girls. Uh, they went to a certain school that he was going to. He was going to follow on Polytechnic. So, uh, so he said, "Well, there's a, there's a girl that I want, he, and she has a, she has a, a girlfriend." So I said, "Okay, all right, I'll I'll, I'll go with you." All right. So, uh, the young ladies, um, we decided to hook up. Uh, we met him at the what was now what was then called the Baltimore Civic Center, which is now called. Uh, the Royal Farms Arena. So um, we were going to meet them at, uh, let's say, 8 o'clock. So um, he said, uh, why don't you, just, he said, why don't you meet me at, at the spot? The spot is in, in Baltimore. We, we, you know, we've been going, living in Baltimore for years. So we have certain liquor stores we'd like to go to. Um, we have a place called The Spot. And it was a liquor store. Um, and then we were, uh, like 16, 17 years old, but they weren't car anybody. You know, you go up there, you walk up there, the open door, you walk up, get what you get what you want. It's like, Psh, we ain't carding you. <laughs> There's too many people down here. So, you know, so we were able to, to purchase alcohol and liquor. Yeah, yes, even the liquor. So they said, well, uh, just meet me over here at the spot about 6.30. I said, okay. So I uh, caught the bus down to downtown, and he met me downtown. We didn't have any cars because uh, we, were, we weren't driving then. So I said, okay. So I met him at the, st the spot. The spot was on Howard Street. Uh, place is down because it's been gone for years now. So, all right. I said, okay. Well, so he said, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, he, we got two 40s, 40-ounce uh, beers uh, of Colt 45, which is a malt liquor, higher content, higher content of alcohol. Uh, and then we got a, we got a, uh, I would say probably like a fifth of Bacardi, Bacardi Gold. Okay. We, that's when, you know, he was drinking, was drinking that. And um, I just joined in and I said, okay. So. Uh, we went to, from the spot, we went to our, to our go-to location, which was in Charles Center. Uh, and we call that the, the, we call it the, the hideaway. So we went to the hideaway, and we, we did our little drinky drink on, you know. Um, you know, uh, I was like, <laughs> I, was, I was already full with, with food because I ate before I came down there. Plus, I was you know, drinking with him. And that, the 40s, you know, with, with alcohol and beer, it really fills you up, so you can't really drink that much. It's a young stomach, of course. So I said, you know, I can't drink anymore. And I said, oh, damn, this would be said to me. Well, I said, well, why don't you just put it to the side somewhere, um, and then, um, you know, after the show, you come out, and, you know, you can finish um, drinking, the, drinking the rest of it. He said, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to do that. So... So what he did was, I don't know why he did this. He drunk. I think we drunk maybe about maybe like a, maybe like a, a, a third of it. So uh, he said, "No, no, I'm gonna drink it all." I said, "I said, don't do that, man. 
you know, it's going to mess you up. Don't do that. And I said, no, I'm, I'm going to drink it all because I don't know what's going to happen to the bottle. I said, it's going to be in a secure place. And I said, no, I don't do it. So he drunk the whole bottle, the whole bottle. He didn't leave anything. He turned it up. I was like, okay. <laughs> I said, uh, okay. So what he did, he got up with the He got some people out here with water pipes. So he decided that he's going to drink it all and going to go meet the girls. So, so we, we, we met up with the girls. Um, so it was like uh, about 7.30, 7.30-ish. So I said, okay, all right. Uh, so I said, let's go in. So we met the girls and okay. So we go up to the girls and, you know, it's the, the, it was, uh, you know, I think a mission was like some like five dollars or something like that. Y'all borrow people's peaches and herb and a couple of people. Uh, the Gap Band was there too, and was, so uh, the, the show started about eight, eight a little bit after eight. The first group came on, you know, and we were jamming, you know, and then, you know, I was sitting next to the girl. The girl, a, a nice girl. Um, and uh, so um, you know, we jammed in the first music, and then you know we were just jamming. The next thing you know, we met Barry. He was yeah, he was jamming. I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. Then about maybe like about 20 minutes into it, <laughs> he sat down and he was he was done. He was not out. He was done. He was <laughs> he was he was out of it. I know, I know the the girl. Uh, I know she was pissed. I sat down there, you know. I was a little woozy too, but I wasn't sleeping though. But you know, I got up, you know, midway through the show, looked at my man. He was ah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He was he was in Greenland. She was. <laughs> I thought to be here with your boy, but what happened to him? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't tell her that you know, we uh, we had a couple drink drinks before, but she probably could have smelled it on his on his breath. So, so at the end of the show, uh, he got out for like about one song. We were talking two hours later. This is like ten thirty, and he was asleep for like an hour, an hour and a half, maybe yeah, about an hour forty five minutes. He got up. Uh, the Gap Band came up. Um, they were playing their song, and then they they played Hump It. He got up for that. For like about three minutes, and he <laughs> sat his butt down, out for another half hour. I'm like, oh my god! So, <laughs> so uh, that that pretty much ended how the how it how the uh, the thing happened and ended. Uh, I let him sleep. So he, so we 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 left the the girls left us uh, from the show, and then um, he said, oh man, I'm I'm okay, I'm okay. So I said, okay. So um, we walked together to the bus stop. He got back on the, we got on the 28, going back up to Liberty Road, and I went back on the 20, getting, getting, going back to uh, my house. So, uh, I think that that was the, that was interesting, and I believe that was uh, the last double date that uh, we had together. Uh, the first double date that we had was the, the same two girls, and uh, it was it was sweet. We just you know we we met them at the in the harbor, and, and we you know we just walked around a little bit, you know, just talked. And he wanted to talk to the girl, the other girl. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't really interest, interested in her, you know, because I had I had I had I had no uh, I had no frame of reference from her. I don't go to school with her. Um, he knew her. Uh, I, I did not know that much about her. I mean, she's a nice girl. I talked to her several times. We lost touch, and she's on Facebook. But you know, it, it was just it just wasn't it wasn't to be. Uh, I just wasn't really interested in her. Uh, I'm just interested because my boy asked me to come along. Okay, it's doing doing a, being a wingman. That's doing a wingman. So you know, that's that's pretty much how it how that happened. But. You know, I'm a, 
you know, sometimes you do something for your boy, you know, sometimes you got to be the wingman, and, and that's cool, you know, and I know there's some wing girls out there too, or wing, or wing ladies, but, uh, you know, um, I enjoyed the, the concert, and we had a good time, we fellowship with two ladies, and, you know, uh, I think that uh, that young lady ended up getting his ring. Mm -hmm. Uh, we talked about that before. I think that that was the one, but I don't know. He he never said anything about it. I mean, we, we we talked about that that night, but uh, we, you know he didn't really tell me. So you know, it's water under the bridge now. So anyway, well I hope you guys enjoyed that that story and uh, it brought back some memories. Uh, I did edit out the the young ladies' names because I don't know they they want me to broadcast who they are. I don't know their last names, but anyway, peace.